guys, I'm gonna show you how to make really easy three ingredient truffles. So I found these years ago on like the craft, um, like the, I think it's craftfoods.com, but it was like the magazines we used to get. And I wanted to make these, I used to make them all the time for the holidays, and I stopped doing it, I'm not sure why. Maybe that's when Pinterest came around. But I couldn't find my recipe, but I found my old video. Totally embarrassing, but I wanted to redo it because yeah, my other video was ridiculous. So three ingredients is all you need to actually make the truffle itself. And then if you want, you can have uh, stuff to coat them in. I like to um, coat them in coconut and powdered sugar. It's totally up to you. Whatever you like to do, you don't have to, but this is my, this is, you know, what I like to do. So all you need is a box of the Baker's semi-sweet chocolate. You need, I think it's a half a cup of peanut butter and then a container of Cool Whip, which it is no longer frozen. It's been in my fridge since I got home from the store. And then I put them in the little mini cupcakes um, holders. It makes it much easier to kind of like pick up and eat instead of them all like rolling around on the plate. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is open our chocolate. They changed how they do this. This used to be in like numerous um, little squares. Now it's just one big bar. So I'm just going to open this and then break apart each little bar. They're really hard to do that with. And then you're going to melt it just like you would regular chocolate. I've never done it with a double boiler. I just put it in the microwave and... Uh, do it for like 30 seconds at a time and uh, then stir it as it goes. Oh, that's hard to do. That actually hurts your hand. All right, so I'll show you once I'm done. All right, so it's nice and melted. So I'm going to put in about a half a cup, a couple scoops of peanut butter. And then. Keep your uh, wrapper, because then you can use that to put your uh, spoons on, so you don't get your counter messy. So you're just gonna mix this up, and because the chocolate's nice and warm, it's gonna mix relatively easy. See, it comes together super fast. You're almost seeing this like in real time. I just stopped it for the one minute <laughs> that it took to melt the chocolate. All right, so now it's all melted like this. So then you're just gonna take your whipped topping, And put it inside and you know that on the inside of your cool whip even the store brand they have desserts on here candy crunch pudding pie quick and easy layer dessert see cool and even like the Walmart and Kroger brands they do that so the entire tub of cool whip goes right in once you mix it all up, we'll take like a minute, then you're going to put this in the fridge for about one minute, I mean, sorry, about one hour, at least an hour, so that it hardens up and gets firm, so that it becomes easier to work with. Well, yeah, so you can roll the balls in your hand. All right, so I'm just going to finish mixing this up, and then I will show you what it looks like. All right, so there it is. It's all mixed up, it's relatively all the same color. So I'm just gonna scrape down this spoon, put um, the cover on it, put it in the fridge, and then we'll come back when it's ready to make a little bowl. Okay, so I let the mixture sit overnight in the fridge and it's nice and hard. You can see you can push on it, it's really hard. So that's the consistent things you want. You want it to be hard and firm so that you can roll them easily. You do wanna work quickly because it will get your hands really gummy and gooey and all that stuff. So I have everything ready to go. I have two spoons, one to scoop out with and one to scoop out of the spoon. And then I have my toasted coconut right here. And you can use powdered sugar or cocoa. And then I have my little mini cups right here in my container so that I'm all set to go. I'm just gonna get to rolling.
here they are. So they do, you know, it's a little messy <laughs> as you can see, but they taste amazing. The coconut ones are my favorite. So I do make a little bit of extra ones with um, powdered sugar for people that don't like them, but they are so, so, so good. So I'm gonna put these back in the fridge. I have a lid that goes on here. And then when it's time to eat, we just pull them out, put them on a cute platter, and they're ready to go.